Hello everybody, this is going to be a little bit different kind of a video today. A good friend of mine that knows that I like uh, stainless steel bottles and, and bottle bags and nesting cups got me the new-ish Pathfinder 64 ounce kit. Now, for reference, I've got a lot of things here for reference. You, if you've watched the channel, you've probably seen this bag. This is my 40 ounce clean canteen and the nesting cup that I usually use with it. And then this is the bag. And it fits fairly snug in that bag. For um, comparison, this is a GSI standard issue cup. This is the Pathfinder cup. And I also have another one that's kind of in the middle that all three of these nest with my 40 ounce canteen and a lot of times in my kits I'll put a second cup like that so I can have cook in drink out of or eat out of drink out of but these two this one is I believe it says 25 ounces this one's 24 and this one I believe is 18 ounces or 20 ounces so, I still, I'm still going to be using these quite a bit, but these for when I am going, oh, and just in comparison, uh, Jack, hand me one of the Nalgene's. This is a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. This is the Pathfinder School 32 ounce stainless bottle. And this is my uh, Clean Canteen 40 ounce. And we'll get to the other one in a minute. I have got a lot of stuff in a small space. We're still not allowed to go to the to the state or national parks where we do a lot of our filming. And it's Sunday afternoon, so the city park is a bad plan. This is the new bottle bag. So comparing it to the old bottle bag. It's a substantial difference right off the top. Now, this one... Everything that's in the... The 64 ounce and everything else that's in this can ride just like it is. This is a 12 ounce round tin that I can put food or spices or whatever in and it will still zip with this in place and it fits kind of comfortably. This will not go in my 40 ounce set. So starting off, we've got a 64 ounce water bottle. Comparing that to my 40 ounce clean canteen. It's quite a bit better. It's got, well, obviously it's 24 more ounces of water, which when you're out hiking for a day or doing, or trying to make a meal or something, that's important. That's a 40 ounce. Why did I grab that? This is a 64 ounce clean canteen. Now this is the small mouth. I do have some of the wider ones. And this has got a drinking top on it. I do have some of the flat ones. But there's a, just enough difference that the clean canteen one does not work with this kit. The second part of this kit is the coffee cup I should have had when I was in the army. Comparing that to the Pathfinder coffee cup. Can you see both of those in that real good? This, with a 40 ounce bottle in it, can go inside that coffee cup and still have rattle room. This is a 48 ounce bush pot and nesting cup combination. 48 ounces is a lot. I really needed that when I was in the army. That would have been good for my field coffee. The Pathfinder 64 ounce bottle fits in there. A little bit snug. Perfect ride. That's no, no problem. 
I brought this out specifically to show you that the clean canteen one does not fit. So if you want this cup and this bag, you kind of need to get this bottle because it fits. Now, I use bottle bags a lot. Everybody that hangs around me has seen me. I've got one clipped to the side of my wheelchair. I've got one clipped to the side of my grab bag. I use them a lot. One of the benefits of a bottle bag is that they all have this front pouch. Well, look at the difference in size on those pouches because you got more real estate on the bottle you got a lot more real estate for your pouch in this pouch if I put a Sawyer mini and the dirty bag it's pretty much full dirty water bag it's pretty much full on this one you can see there's still a lot of room in there and not only do I have my Sawyer mini and the dirty bottle bag I've got the backwash plunger in there too and there was still quite a bit of room I could I could fit eating utensils and a couple of things with spices or a couple of packets of got holes at the top of the cup for being able to pick it up easier I was going to do that anyway Jack's getting ahead of me <laughs> I'm going to leave this out for a minute because there has been a couple of people that have questioned me on that. Now, as Jack was trying to say, I'll jump forward. Just like the smaller Pathfinder cup, it's got these two holes in it. This one does as well. That's so you can take a fish mouth spreader, which I forgot to grab before the video, but it's basically a piece of wire with a curl at the top, comes down in two little wings. You can put that in there and hang this from your fire and it will, um, where in the, oh, it will um, hold it up there for you. Now, since this doesn't have anything in it right now, I put the lid for the cup in it. The lid for the cup has holes for drainage and ventilation when you're draining, and it's got these two slits. If you line those two slits up with those holes, you can put the bail on while the lid is on. Why do you want the lid on? Because that reduces the time it takes to cook because it holds the heat in. It can reduce boil times by quite a bit and if you're making just add boiling water food that reduces your cook time. Also if you're just making like a stew or soup or something holds it in. Now that is a pretty secure fit but it's not hard to take off either. I have a lid just like that for the smaller Pathfinder cup. I just don't have it with me because it's actually in the bottle bag that has my uh, fish mouth spreader in it. <laughs> because I use them a lot. So mostly that was what I wanted to do right there, was to introduce you to this. Th this is a half a gallon of water. Now, if you're going out, in the, if Jack and I are going out for a day, we're each going to have our own water that we're drinking that we carry. I usually carry one of my 40 ounce ones, like this 40 ounce. This is actually full because I use it here at the house to drink too. Different kind of bottle bag holder, and I got it set up on the rail of my bed so I can reach that from my desk or my bed. <laughs> but, um,. The 64 ounce and this, that's how we're going to be cooking our meals quite, uh, quite often. So to the people that ask me why the Sawyer, it is recommended for each person each day for cooking, hydration, and sanitary reasons, a gallon of water. This will process, if you use that plunger on it, every few times you run wa dirty water through it, back flush it, this will process 100,000 gallons of water. That's a lot of water. <laughs> this one little thing right here could make enough clean water for two people to grow old and die with a gallon a day each. 
Now, in in this, I sh I had it's a, it's I I have several of these in different places. I call these my dirty bags because I only ever use them. My rubber band just broke. Haha. Uh -huh. I this is the plunger. About every three or four times you run water through this, the water goes this way. So you want to plug this in this way and push it backwards two times I usually do, two full, two fills of filtered water back pressure through this to rinse out all the crap. These are dirty bags. You, you take this out and you put the dirty water in this and you never drink straight from this unless this is attached. You can squeeze it into other containers and it's got these threads on it that thread into your filter if you line them up right. There we go that thread into your filter. Now you can fill it, has dirty water in it, you can squeeze that into your container. But if this has a hole in it or something, these threads match a standard pop bottle. Now, not only can I fill that up with dirty water and squeeze it into that, but if I need to go real quick, if I'm filling up with dirty water and there's a reason why I got to start moving, I can throw this straight on here and drink from it. I can fill this up, squeeze it in, and fill up all of my containers, and still fill this up one more time with this on it and drink this empty before I go to any of my other containers. These are light. And unfortunately, nowadays, you're really likely to just find one of these laying around in the woods. I do not like rigid plastic water bottles like this Nalgene. Yeah, I have a couple of these and I keep them here in my cave for the express purpose of filling my little water pitcher that has a filter in it because I don't like the taste of the city water. That's the only reason you'll ever see me using those. It is really easy to drop these and break them and crack them. And if you look at my bottles, there's dents all over them. Uh, the one that I have in my other ba water bag that I take out when I go out has scorch marks on it because I've boiled water in it. Can't do that in these. So I generally leave the plastic ones here. That's about all I've got for you right now. Uh, oh, the tin that I have, this, this tin that I'm using in the lid of that, that fits with everything else in it. I, this is actually from the Pathfinder, but I've had th this is a 12 ounce. I've had this for a long time. I got a couple of the 8 ounce ones and they're smaller diameter and they actually work with the 40 ounce bottle bags. But uh, that's about all I have for you today. Get out in the woods, have fun, enjoy yourself, and remember, all the equipment in the world does you absolutely no good if you do not know how to use it. Not just use a piece of equipment, but use that piece of equipment. So take your gear out, practice, and have fun.